John Ogilby was born in Scotland in the year 1600. He worked as a dancing master in his early years, but an injury put paid to that career. He then established Ireland's first theatre, but it closed as a result of the Irish Rebellion. He narrowly missed being blown up defending a castle and was shipwrecked on his homeward journey. In 1650, he returned to London, where he married the widow Christina Hunsdon. The restoration of Charles II brought Ogilvy back in favour, and he was commissioned to help with the arrangements for the coronation in 1660. But just as he was on the up, he lost everything in the Great Fire of London in 1666. In 1674, Ogilvy was appointed His Majesty's Cosmographer and Geography Printer. These days, John Ogilby is best known for his masterwork, Britannia, first published in 1675. The maps and illustrations were engraved on copper. Ogilby's goal was to publish a collection of accurate and easy to use roadmaps. We have to remember that in those days, the only means of long distance travel was on horseback or by horse-drawn carriage. His famous strip map design included all the information required of a roadmap. The distance from the starting point measured in miles is also there, as are various graphics denoting hills as a simple indication of whether the road is going up or down. The road is depicted as a ribbon scroll and one follows the ribbon from the bottom to the top of the page. The adjoining roads and their destinations are also inscribed. He made the decision to use the statute mile which had already been defined by an English Act of Parliament at 1,760 yards, but had never been universally put into practice. Ogilby's request to the government was eventually approved, and the statute mile allowed him to create his maps, crossing all borders in England and Wales without needing to change scale. There was a later edition published posthumously in 1698, his plan was to produce three volumes, but he only managed the first one before his death. The maps are avidly collected today for their quirky style, detailed content and quality craftsmanship. Having worked and struggled throughout his life, he died in London ten years after the fire in 1676, the year after his Britannia was published. Here at the Witch Ball, in the heart of the lanes in Brighton, we have several original fine examples of Ogilby's ribbon maps. Browse for them on our website at www.thewitchball.co.uk or pop into our shop at 48 Meeting House Lane, BN1 1HB.